Hi, it's John. Now I've been thinking about the whole concept of being in harness. Now of course a harness is something that's put on a horse. Um, a bit different to a bridle. A harness is, is something you put on a horse when, it's, when you're going to make it to work. And the, the, um, the phrase being in harness suggests that you are putting yourself to work. So you're denying your own feelings and you're saying this work needs to be done. I'm just going to get on with it. Put my blinkers on and focus my attention on the work that is required. And this is the way that most successful people operate. And when you put yourself in harness, and when you put your mind to a certain task, it's amazing what can be done. But there is one problem about it, or more than one probably, that if you deny all your feelings and natural instincts, you can tend to become less creative. So sometimes it's good to slip the harness and um, go with your own feelings and thoughts and timetable and see where it takes you. I've heard a lot of people in the past say, um, you know, successful people, they say, yeah, it's all very well, but I don't really know who I am anymore. And I think that's one of the problems of being in harness. You don't know who you are anymore because you become the work that you've done or the work that you've been doing. I mean, people especially say it when they retire, don't they? Anyway, I'd love to know what people think about that. Um, I, and the longer the comments, the better. I'd love to get into a discussion, so please leave comments below. Right, bye for now.